you're still watching Waze. April 28th is marked as World Day for Safety and Health at Work, annually to encourage the balance of safe, healthy and appropriate working environments worldwide. In 2003, the International Labour Organization designated the World Day for Safety and Health at Work as an annual global initiative to increase awareness about the significance of safety and health in the workplace. Despite the efforts put into creating safer workplaces, many people still lose their lives or become injured as a result of work-related accidents and illnesses. This day encourages people and organizations to contemplate the measures they can implement to foster a work environment that is safer, healthier, and more productive. What would you say about your workplace? How would you rate it? So, fortunately, all the places I've actually had to work, mm -hmm. nine to five, have been very big on health and safety. Mm -hmm. So first, I mean, in the educational sector, uh, in the school, uh, you always have to be very mm. safety conscious. So we have routines. You come yeah. in the morning, you do that men that um, safety routine, check that everything's fine, tick the boxes. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the day, do the same thing. Then when I transition into real estate as well, in the office, we're so big on health and mm. safety. We'll have, um, what's it called? Fire trainings and, you know, things like that. So. I know how important it is because even at home as well, I'm yeah. also, it has now, you know, um, it's not a part of me. So even in my house, if I see a socket hanging, mm -hmm, I know that, mm -hmm. no, this thing is dangerous. Yeah. We have to find something to do about it. There's a water spillage. We have to do something about it. And mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I think um, when you talk about the home as well, it's, mm. it's the one place that people don't think about. I think at work, most companies have mm -hmm. that sort of HSE. Yes. It's a requirement, in mm -hmm. fact, to have those guidelines and, and plans in place, making sure that workplaces are safe. I think for me, my best um, work health and safety experience was um, an organization I worked for who beyond the standard health and safety um, things and issues yeah. they made sure that even our desks and chairs so the the fact that your chairs are um, ergonomically positioned yeah, position, right the yeah. height of your table so they had a consultant come in and they adjusted everyone so you yeah. sat down they you know, put your chair, is this okay? Your eye, right. um, level of your eyes to the screen computers, and, and yeah. also, there is so much that is being done, but I just said that so that companies and organizations know that there is so happen. much, so much more that they can be doing to keep their staff um, and, you know, institutions safe. safe. Very true. So, what did you find for us in the news? Okay, so on today's episode of When Life Gives You Lemons, Make Lemonade. <laughs> That's my story. <laughs> and this one's about DJ OB. So DJ OB has come out to say that he actually started DJing after he chopped breakfast. Wow. And that's what brought him to the limelight. So after he said this in an interview and he said that he had always had a passion um, for music, but then uh, <laughs> he had this girlfriend who they were in a love triangle. She had someone else she was with. Mm. And at the end of the day, she came back and said, you know what, this is the person I was going to that. I will prepare you. I'm coming to be the DJ at your birthday party. And that was it. That's how he became the DJ OB that we know today. And that's why I said on today's episode of When Life Gives You Lemons, lemons. make, make lemonade. the best lemonade. I mean, it, it just goes to show that, look, your motivations can come from anywhere. anywhere. And it depends on how you position yourself. Some mm -hmm. people in that same situation could play the victim game and say, you know what? Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. I just broke my heart. I'm never going to recover. <laughs> Or you can use it to go into that deep place and mm. pull out something fantastic. Yeah, so well done to him. Yeah. So your story is quite positive. My story is, well, mind your wallets, people. Things are going to get a bit more expensive. So the headline says, FG raises tariff for rice to 60%, wheat what? 70%, also palm oil, sugar, and others. So the story says that the federal government on Thursday raised tariffs on the importation of rice in packaging of more than five kilograms or in bulk yeah. um, and in packing of five kg or less to 60 percent from 50 percent. Uh, the finance minister, Zaina Ahmad, um, disclosed this in a document that had been seen by um, the publication and it goes on to show um, also that the importation of wheat had been raised to 70 percent now if you think about our staples mm -hmm. i mean rice, rice is a staple wheat um, the flour yeah. if you think about all the associated things pasta you know <laughs> a bread i mean everything these are critical aspects um, of our livelihood, mm, of our ability yeah. to sustain and feed ourselves as a nation. So 
it is i mean when i see this i think things are just so tough at the moment things are so expensive um how are people i mean people will cope i shouldn't say how are people going to cope people will cope because as nigerians we're just the most oh, resilient the people I'm telling on you. the planet you know sometimes you just don't know how we do it mm -hmm. but you know we are doing it uh so i mean it, it's not one to look forward to but that's the reality of where we find ourselves and guess what today. income is not increasing it is not the cost of living is going up every day absolutely okay we'll be fine Perhaps that's why people need to think, think seriously about um, career transitions as a way to earn more money. Sure. So there's a, there are many reasons why we brought this topic back today because, I mean, it's really, there's so many drivers for you to be thinking about career transitioning. Mm. But I think we should jump right in. Um, but before we do that, let's take a quick break and we'll be back.